I love to write. You know, it's a great passion, and I feel that when you write something down for people, it gives them a time to think through it, to reference back to it. I mean, an article I write in a paper or a book I write always is sort of a place people go for the facts. There's something about something that's written versus TV or radio, which you can't really catch and you don't really know how to go back to the original source of it, that written journalism can provide. What I really wanted to do in my book is to sort of bring this back down to a few basic facts that I want people to know. And the biggest one to know is that no gun control law has ever reduced crime. The second most important fact I want people to know is that there is no correlation between gun ownership and gun crime in the sense that more gun owners does not mean more crime. And the third one I really want people to understand because this is so difficult to, to keep in mind when you watch the mass media is that mass shootings have not increased. Now you're seeing the public switch and saying enough is enough. Well, I always knew I wanted to be involved in Washington in some way. Um, I've always been interested in politics and interested in sort of impacting people's lives and making changes. So then I was at NBC News for a few years and then ABC News, where I was associate producer. And then I decided that I'd been in Washington and I wanted to actually be in politics. So I worked on Capitol Hill for several years as press secretary. The reason I decided to become a gun owner in Washington, D.C. Um, was I was dog sitting for a friend at their house and I took the dog for a walk. And in the time that I was gone, a man, the police believed to be a, a drug addict, got into the house and started robbing it. So when I came back into the house, he was in there robbing. He took my wallet, but I was able to talk him out of the house without hurting me, thank God. Then I decided, which was really stupid, but I decided to follow him and try to get a picture to show the police. And when I did, I turned the end of the driveway, I found that he was with about 15 men. They're all standing around in two pickup trucks parked in the middle of the street. They saw me and started running at me. And I obviously got terrified and turned and ran back in the house, then called the police. Going to bed that night in this house, it was the first time in my life I thought, I just wish I had a gun by my night table. Then I could defend myself if those men come in. It really switched my thinking. So I set out to get a gun in DC and I, I had heard that it was difficult, but I had no idea what I was in for. And I went to my editor and I said, I'm, I'm getting a gun in DC. I know it's difficult, how about I write about it? He said, that, that's a great idea. I said, I think it'll take about two weeks. Famous last words. 